Where are we and what's going on, Allison? Uh, we're at my friend Vince and Amy's house to get a Volkswagen, but Vince forgot to put the other car out of the way, so we rang the doorbell and then we left, and then we came back and called three other phones. I could like smell it. From here. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Allison? It's dust. There's a lot of it. I'm getting my eye. Um, Allison has to eat breakfast. <laughs> you making a movie? Uh, Heinzel is H-Y. <laughs> How's that look? Bye. Are we not entertaining enough? No. Cops are coming for you guys. I don't want you to. What do you think? First take? Yes. Totally. Definitely first take. Oh, that looks horrible with that light. Uh, we'll keep going though. Okay, go. Rat party, rat party, we're done. We Yay. did it. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? How'd it go? I think it went pretty well. I'm pretty well. Awesomely well. That's what I'm talking about. I guess. Infallible. I think it was a little bit fallible. Well, the cameraman. Oh. <laughs> he was drunk. He was drunk. It's hard to get good. Is this level? Is this thing level? Andy has bad dandruff. We all have bad dandruff on yeah. the set. It's embarrassing. I have it on my legs. Every lens flare we had, we <laughs> could see all the spots. I got Wi Fi. <laughs> it's a hot spot. Yeah. Shoes, but can I give you a dollar? Sure, thanks. Thank you for being on our video, man. Okay, <laughs> take care. All right. Hi, this is Dave Heinzel and Allison March, and this is the director's commentary on Press Play. So, we had to write, I had to write the things in shock. So, we got dust in our eyes. It looks like Allison just didn't wash her hair. There's mm -hmm. Kyle getting out of the awesome gray van that we borrowed from who? Vince and Amy Flamini. Vince and Amy are awesome. We I went to their house at 5.30 in the morning. But they forgot to leave it on the street. Or Vince forgot to leave it on the street, so we kind of had to um, call them on all three phones and get Vince up and move the other car. Poor Vince. But it was, he was such a nice guy, yeah. too. After this, I'm like behind them locking the van, and then I run after <laughs> Yeah, because we left the van out there by itself for while we were shooting this whole thing. Yeah. And there's this homeless guy following us around this whole time trying to sell us these Adidas shoes for 50 cents. And he just happened to be standing in the alley on the take that we used. Yeah. So the story came about when we... How did this thing come about, dude? What, the whole idea? Yeah. Well, Land Lincoln Credit Union uh, wanted a video. Or is having this contest, and they kind of were looking for videos, and I'm like, you know, I, I could probably make one. So, Alice and I started brainstorming. We realized we had a day to make it, and tried to do it in uh, all one take in one location. We thought that'd be the easiest way to do it. Um. So, this is Kyle, kind of just walking around, and uh, that tape player he found, and that's kind of how we got an idea for the person saying stuff along with the tape. I don't know if this is going to be the version with me talking, but Dave wrote some stuff and Kyle wrote some stuff. I don't think I was much help on the writing. We're coming up on a signed uh, advertisement for the Land Lincoln Credit Union, there it is on the wall. That was supposed to be on the bench that's in the foreground right now, but the angle that the sun was hitting it showed every imperfection on that sign because it was made in haste, and so we moved it to the wall. Yeah, who's that, Dave? That's my wife, Courtney. She was 
very kind and got up at 5 o'clock with us to be in our movie. Also, there's like a window over to the side, and our reflections used to be in it, but I think Dave brushed them out. I'm going to so try to airbrush our reflections out of there. This is before it's all edited, so. Yeah. This is an elevator. Elevators are great. They take you places. Yeah. And this stop was made so Kyle could catch his breath and try to get up the stairs to meet us. I'm going to make a, a geek note about the exposure. I am turning the exposure wheel on the camera every time we go inside and outside and the light environment changes. But if you turn the wheel a little bit too far, it completely closes down the aperture and the picture goes black. And that happened a couple times. Oh yeah, we had to completely stop shooting because I would open it up too much to F11 and then a little bit more and then it went black. And right here is one of the places where I was really worried about that but I closed it down on F11 here and left it at that. So originally the story was he was, the girl was telling him where to go and that the surprise or the birthday present would be the sunset, but the clouds were hiding the sun for too long and so it didn't look very pretty. We and couldn't really see it. Yeah, and the sun doesn't really show up on camera though. I mean, you can kind of tell where it is, but it's not, it doesn't really give you that aha moment. It's hard to tell that he's there looking it is. at the sun. There's the sun. So this was also the place we did some Super 8 film, and it was super sweet. Yeah, it looked great, so we thought it'd be a good location for this, and that's what we choose. And then we had to make a story to fit around it. I mean, we shot the video, and then we didn't like the story, so we were left with four minutes of video that we had to make a story for. That was hard. Yes. So there's some credits I wrote. You see all the dust on the lens right there? <laughs> Is that from the... Chalk is probably. <laughs> it's probably chalk dust on the lens. I'm sorry, that was an extra logo that I didn't mean to Whatever. Put. Pimp out your oh, your production label and your gang. And my gang sign. The clowns. Springfield clowns. Oh, the clown alliance. Thanks for watching our movie. Bye-bye. The end.